I want my edges to come back, like really, really. The return of the edges. It's nine o'clock, the kids are sleeping, and it's finally Friday. This hair journey has been crazy, like crazy, crazy. If you're looking for a way to stretch yourself, to grow and to learn, start a hair care journey because it's been, it's been a whole, it's been crazy. You don't really need the right products. I'm learning this. Like it's not about the products. You can buy as many products or as little products as you want. What you need is time. You need consistency. You need an understanding of your hair. You need an understanding of what your hair needs. You need patience, <laughs> which I don't have much of when it comes to my hair. Products are probably the least important of all the things that you need. Anyways, I'm gonna take this down and I am going to just go ahead and undo my braids and I'm gonna prepare my hair for a wash. But as I was saying, products are just products. You can use just any number of products that work for your hair and it doesn't really matter what the product is or who made it, just as long as it is working for your hair. With all the things that your hair needs, in order for it to grow, in order for it to thrive. You need to be consistent with your hair. You need to eat a balanced diet. You need to be a good mom, a good wife. You need to exercise, you need to eat well. You need all these things and you need to try to be happy. And you're wondering like, how the heck do you do all of that? With all of the things that you can list, having a full life, a happy life, it's a lot of stuff. And it's like, how are you supposed to do all of that stuff? Like it's a lot, a lot, a lot but I am committed. I'm committed to this journey. I'm committed to taking back the power and styling and caring for and growing my hair. And I am committed to seeing the end result. As I said, I don't have much patience, but I'm willing to try. <laughs> I'm willing to at least try to see this thing through. I know it won't happen overnight, even though I wish, oh, and I pray that it would. I am just going to push through and just try. The thing about it is I really, really want to see my edges come back. I want to see a fuller head of hair. I want to be able to go outside with my natural hair and feel confident. I want my edges to come back, like really, really. The return of the edges. I guess I should make a movie. But yes, my edges are super, super, super important to me and it helps me to feel confident when I have a hairline. I am committed to this journey of growing back my hair. You know, coming into a better understanding of who I am as a woman and as a natural black woman. And maybe, maybe I'll even save a couple of dollars not having to buy so many wigs. If you've been here from the beginning, if you've been following this hair journey, I am so glad you're still here. I need you. <laughs> like you guys are giving me confidence and you guys are pushing me and making it so that I can go on and I can be more patient and I can see this thing to the end. But if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for being here. And you can also join the club. There's lots of room. There's lots of room here in the club. So just hit that subscribe button. And of course you wanna hit that bell too so that you know when I post new videos. You know, I post videos four times a week. Usually I'm posting about me and my kids, you know, just living life and having fun. I post some encouraging words for new moms to help you get off the couch and into life. And of course, recently I've been posting and documenting about my hair care journey and just the recovery process since this is the second time that I'm going through postpartum hair loss. And I want you to be a part of the journey, so go ahead and subscribe. Recently, my family and I were on the Family Feud Canada game show and it was so much fun. I actually posted a video about it and I'll link it here. In the video, I couldn't really say much because the, the episode didn't air yet. But now that it's already out, <laughs> I can say what I wanna say about it and I can be a little bit more detailed. So if you wanna hear more details about my experience, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Give this video a like and I will go into more detail about what that whole experience was all about. And if you didn't watch, you should go ahead and watch it. I'll put the link in the description as well. 
so you could see was i a winner was i not a winner i'll let you go ahead and watch that so let's talk about this hair this is like week three or four i think of me doing this hair care journey i have seen a lot of positive results so far the consistency that i've had in the last couple weeks have shown to be pretty beneficial you being able to see it through the screen probably not but i can definitely feel and i can hear when i look in the mirror i can see the difference if you see a difference go ahead and put a comment down below i want to know what you see from the first video till now are you noticing anything different is it better is it worse let me know but what i've noticed that since i've had my kids my hair is totally different the texture of it is different the way it grows out of my head is different how it feels is different there's so many changes and i'm realizing that the same methods that i was using before no longer work before i was kind of going off this out of sight out of mind method and i'm realizing that that was more of neglect than it was a method at all and it just doesn't work anymore i have to become more aware of what is happening on my head and I have to be more involved in the caring process. Like I can't just leave it for a couple of weeks and not pay attention to it. One of the biggest things that I noticed is that before I could just leave my hair, go ahead, wash it, and then put it back in braids or whatever and it would be fine. But now, I'm noticing that it is not absorbing product the same way that it used to. In other words, it is so dry and so damaged and so neglected that products just by itself no longer have an effect. I actually have to do what I've learned is called the lock method in order to maintain some of the moisture and make it so that my hair can detangle a lot easier. So the lock method is basically just using liquid, oil, and a cream to lock moisture into your hair so that it can become more manageable and you're able to detangle it better, you're able to style it better with less frizz and less damage. Your hair just looks overall healthy and is overall more healthy. For me, I'm using water for my liquid, obviously, and I'm using my concoction of oils, which I showed you in a previous video, and you can watch that up here. And I also use a cream. The cream that I'm using is actually a cream that is made for kids. It's a part of the Just For Me Kids hair care line. The formula is a little softer and the density of the product works better for my hair. Now, because I am very much in the infancy stage of growing my hair, I thought, hey, a kid's product would be perfect for it. And so far I am noticing that using that product with the oil as well as the water, is helping. The other thing that's helping is using mist. So of course I will go ahead and wash my hair and then I will use the lock method to twist it out or to braid it out. And then maybe midweek, I'll have to use a spray of mist just to make sure that my hair is moist. I find that without that extra water, the product just sits on top of my hair as opposed to just absorbing into the shafts of my hair. But my story is changing. I am working at this thing. I'm really, really trying to stay committed, trying to make sure that every day I am doing what I have to do in order to get to a day where I can look back on this video and be like, dang girl. You've come a long way. Like, I'm really, really hoping that I can do that. Like, that's my goal. But man, it's it's the patience for me. Like, this, it requires a lot of patience. But I think what gets in the way is like, when you're watching YouTube videos and you're doing your research and you're seeing headlines and titles that say, grow your hair fast or use this method to grow your hair fast. And then you see the girls with this long, beautiful, luscious hair. You can't help but to think like, What's fast, like overnight? <laughs> and then you fall into this trap of believing that somehow that person grew their hair overnight by using whatever method it is that they were talking about in the video. I I've just been praying. I'm like, God, we're friends, right? And I believe he's doing it. You know, I believe he is doing it, but it's probably still at his pace and not at my like insta, insta, insta place <laughs> that I would hope for it to be. But I'm learning to love the journey. I am learning to love this hair. Massages have become my favorite part about this whole hair care thing. The massaging actually is twofold. One, it feels so good. Two, it stimulates your scalp and causes blood to flow there and the blood helps for hair to grow. So I've been doing everything that I need to do in the last couple of weeks and I plan to continue. Um, once I get this last braid out, I'm gonna just show you what I've been working with. My hair, I feel like I need to just 
overly moisturize and overly oil it because it's been neglected for so long. That's what I've been doing. I've just been kind of overdoing it so that I can get the desired results. Now, of course, you can run risk of doing too much and causing your hair to regress even further, but I'm listening to my hair and I am paying attention to it now. And I think that for me and for my hair type, the method that I'm using seems to be working so far. My hair is finally out and this is basically what it is. You let me know. Do you see, do you notice any difference? Are you seeing it? looking a little better is it more revived is it coming back to life let me know of course i'm gonna go ahead and wash this i am using a different method to wash my hair as well but that is a video for later so i wanted to let you know that i am premiering these friday videos so every friday i am live in the chat and i will watch it with you so if you are here and you're watching it as the video premieres you could talk to me and we can you know Talk about it. Let me know if you see a difference. Let me know if you like it. I'm so happy that you are here watching this video and I'm so glad that you have decided to join the club. And if you have not yet done so, there's plenty of room. So you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you're notified when I post new videos. Of course, as always, I want you to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and I will see you in the next video.